everyone, it's Yuto from StatchyRecipes.com and today I'm going to show you a delicious Japanese salmon recipe called Shiozake. It only needs a little bit of preparation and less than 10 minutes of cooking time. It's a classic. For this recipe you will need just 3 ingredients. 2 salmon fillets, mine are about 100 grams each. Salt that is 1-2% to of the weight of the salmon. So for 200 grams that's 2-4 to four grams or about half a teaspoon. And 1 teaspoon of sake. So we start by rubbing the salt over the salmon pieces. I like to do this the night before so that the salt is absorbed deeply into the salmon. It also makes it juicier and more tender. If you don't have time to do this the night before, at least add it a few hours before cooking. In Japanese, the word for salt is shio, and salmon is called sake. When you put them together, you get shio sake, the name of this dish. Or, alternatively, you can call it shio jake. Because this recipe is so simple, it's important to use good quality salmon. Check the salmon fillets for a vibrant colour, thick flesh, and not too much moisture dripping off. It's fine to use frozen salmon for this, just make sure you defrost it overnight in the fridge first. Ok, I'm gonna seal these with a lid and place them in the fridge overnight. So this has been resting overnight so the next step is to pat them dry with a paper towel. Don't worry about removing the salt, it's already been absorbed into the flesh. We just want to remove the moisture from the outside to stop the fish from getting tough or mushy when it's cooked. It also removes any unpleasant fishiness that might have formed from condensation in the fridge. I recommend patting fish dry every time you cook it, no matter what the dish. Finally, I'm going to rub 1 teaspoon of sake over the top. This is an optional step, but it really takes the salmon to another level. Sake enhances the flavour, adds umami, softens the fishy smell, and improves the texture of the salmon meat. I highly recommend it. Now, before I cook this, I'm going to preheat my grill on a medium setting. This will make the fish cook more evenly. While it's heating, I'm going to fold a piece of foil. I like to place the salmon on the foil to prevent a mess in the grill. I just fold up the edges like this so that the juices can't leak over the edge. But if you don't mind cleaning the grill after, you can skip this step. So now it's time to cook. My grill is ready so place the foil down like this and then the salmon fillet should be placed with the skin facing up. All grills are different so just check inside so you know where the heat source is and make sure the salmon is directly underneath to ensure it cooks evenly. If the heat source isn't even, you might have to turn the salmon fillet around from time to time. We're going to cook these for about 3 to 4 minutes until the skin is a bit golden and crispy. To me, the crispy skin is my favourite part, so it's important to get this bit right. Not everyone needs the skin though, it's totally up to you. Once it's looking good, carefully flip it over and grill the other side. Generally, it should take 4 to 5 minutes on the other side, but it really depends on the thickness of your salmon fillet. These ones are quite small, so it might take less than that. Once I've turned it over, I like to lower the heat slightly so that the meat doesn't dry out. It's on a medium setting now. Just keep an eye on it. Keep checking the colour, it should change from bright pink to a pale pink. Once it's done, it should look like this. Mm -hmm. 
Shiozake is the perfect dish to serve with rice, miso soup and pickles. This is actually a typical Japanese style breakfast, but you can enjoy it for lunch or dinner too. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did hit the like button and if you're new here and are interested in Japanese cooking, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, hope to see you again in the next video.